All right, hello and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. I'm gonna go ahead and Elizabeth. unlock this. Why not? Why not? Get some silver eagles and a piece of gear. Money is always nice. should be around somewhere. Alright. So we gotta find the code. And I know where it is, so... We're heading to it right now. I'm sure we'll get enough lockpicks for future stuff. In fact, I believe there's like a dollar bill in a specific location where you can buy lockpicks. Seems like kind of a bad, you know, gameplay choice. Because it kind of discourages the player from exploring, but... I don't know. Maybe if the lockpicks are pricey enough. Or I think you maybe have to be out of lockpicks. I'm not sure. Not sure if there's like a special condition for buying them. Got a tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. Took guesses as to why they were there, but who's there? You're slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! Did you hear that Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. So yeah, Slate is a little crazy. Hey! Walker, look! That's what the code book deciphers. I'm sure of it. Huh. Let's see. Tip the hat to the fox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Possibly. Tip of the hat. Ho oh, ho. Tip of the hat. Daisy Fitzroy. I've read about her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got a dream. Come here. I want that one silver eagle. Yeah. The one thing people need to learn is that fear is the antidote to fear. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they're going to see is the dark. So this better already. is the RPG. I think it's called like Barn Stormer RPG or something like that. Well, it's basically as an RPG goes. Missed. Missed. Got him. Okay. Apparently I can't aim today. Also, if you melee someone while they're in, while they're affected by bucking Bronco, they uh, they kind of go flying. So that's fun. Let's head on over to the Hall of Heroes. More like the Hall of Zeros, am I right? Am I? Okay. No, I fell off. I 
fell off from my terrible pun. If you jump there, you could probably get stuck. I think I had it happen before. There was like this weird phenomenon with the camera. I'm not going to show it off because I don't want to waste time and also get stuck. Let's see what's in here. Is a little crazy, like I said. Ow. Yeah, snipers do a lot of damage on harder difficulties. Where are you? Gotcha. there. I don't know what happened. Um, maybe I pressed the jump button accidentally. I don't know. It's supposed to be another sniper. Okay, hello. second sniper was, but I thought there was it's usually two snipers. Alright, let's head on into the Hall of Heroes. Not before looking at that kinetoscope. Kinetoscope. Who needs the power company? Now you can do your wee happy few shock fetish at home. I hope you couldn't hear that disgusting noise I made with my mouth. And if you didn't hear it, then I just called myself out. Okay, thanks, George. Always so informative. Uh, do I need anything? Guess I'll get that, actually. That's pretty cool. I didn't buy the, uh... I didn't buy the possession aid. Uh, I mean, it's $50, and $50 doesn't really mean anything in this game. But I'll, uh... Probably buy it eventually. I don't know. I just don't use possession all that much on people. Or in general. I doubt all the men who written 
Caesar's Togo would still be seen breaking bread together in peacetime. With Comstock gone, my men's past deeds will be sacred, and they will claim the spoils to them. I need not live to see it. When I go, I guess I'll buy it. I mean, it doesn't really hurt. Yes, I know. Thanks. These people are about to get destroyed. Perfect. Okay. Well, you know. We had two outliers, but hey. So yeah, that crow's aid I bought is that when someone dies under the influence of sounds like a drink, uh, when when someone dies while they're being attacked by crows, it'll automatically create a crow trap, which is pretty powerful. Because you, you can have a bunch of crow traps just continuously come along. I think it has a limit, maybe. Like I don't think it can go on forever. Or else that would be pretty overpowered. Alright, let's get through these racist exhibits as fast as possible. Okay, so ammo advantage is basically a better version of bullet boon. I did not know that. Alright. That's cool. Was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. Uh, uh, thanks, George. Uh, that's kind of racist. I mean, I just, I, I don't know. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops to Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and dirty of my friends! Is there even a stroke to mark that sacrifice? Hello. You are quite resilient. Whoops. This accuracy upgrade is so good. Hello. 
Oh. Basically what the accuracy upgrade does for the machine gun is that it keeps that circle um, at a minimum. So instead of that circle becoming really big and the accuracy becoming all wonky, it's very controlled now, if that made sense. Wasn't there an infusion in one of these? I thought there was. Hopefully I didn't miss it. With you and cry, with hatchet red, they danced amongst our noble dead. But when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only yield. Thanks, George, but also, again, that's, that's kind of racist, I just... You. Where are you? Show me where you are so I can stop you. She didn't say anything. Usually she, she says something. Comstock in the trial. Lay in the womb of Our Lady, but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an admission. Can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the prophet's heir day and night. That's my child. Lo, while Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. My... Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, 
I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. Are there even dogs up here? I, I don't know. Maybe. Are they like robot dogs? Like the robot horses? To those who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them. No betrayal I would not gladly give. And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said, There is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you. For God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are loved. Comstock's Vengeance. Sounds like a horror movie reboot. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Elizabeth. There you go. I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, stairs have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Try that one! Let's do this. Come on. Come on. No. There we go. Hear that nice violin screech. I didn't know the fire from the RPG counted as a devil's kiss kind of thing. Um, I can do that, sure. I don't think I need anything from here, though. Hold the miracle child. And he just walks away casually. Alright, so we're about to beat my favorite heavy hitter of the game. Too rare is the man who 
takes the stab in human God and sweetest fatherland. But here is the place where we revere with the heroes of our city. This is the motorized Patriot. It's our founding father with a minigun. Thanks. Let's watch this after murdering a robot. So this is the pepper pepper mill crank gun. Um, Basically, it's a mini gun. I mean, it's our Gatling gun, whatever. Seems right up your alley. That won't take but a minute. There you go. Thank you. I think you pick this. On it. Done. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. All right. Well. I'm going to leave this episode off here, and the next time, we're going to go and give Slate a little talk. Just a little one, but not too much. Alright, see you guys next time.